I'm with Oscar Valdez now. Oscar, the first time you've lost as a pro. What was it about Shakur Stevenson that was so difficult tonight? Yeah, I mean, he got his great boxing skills. That's just it. Um, he was just the better, the better fighter this night. That's just it. At what moment did you try to make adjustments, and what adjustments did he counter with that didn't allow you to get through? Like I said, just his boxing skills. Um, he was a foot, a front, you know, just a step back. You know, every time I tried to get close to him, he did what he had to do to win the fight. We knew he was going to be elusive, his great defensive skills. In terms of his size, did you feel his power at all? Um, like I said, he's a great fighter. Speed's there. His, his power is there. Um, he was just a better fighter tonight. Like I said, you know, he, overall, great, great fighter. You had moments of success in this fight. In the sixth round, you landed more punches than anybody else ever landed on him. But it was hard to sustain. What was it about Shakur in terms of his boxing, his physique? What, what was it that didn't allow you to get through? A little bit of everything. His footwork. He has great defense. Um, takes little risks. Um, like I said, he just does what he has to do to win the fight. And in terms for you, what's the next step for you after this bitter defeat? Continue learning. Continue learning. Stay with my family. I got to go back with my family to talk about this. Go with my trainer, Eddie Reynoso, and, and see what we have to do to, to improve. I don't think it's the end. I did my best tonight. It wasn't enough. And I'm just going to continue training to become a world champion again. Definitely. Eddie, if si you permit us, please. What is it that se le complicó tanto a Oscar de Shakur Stevens in this night? Well, I think the style was blocking well, the truth. What they have is pure raspones. He didn't connect. Shakur was solid. I think he needed to hit a little bit more. He says Shakur was a, was a really good fighter, but he really didn't hurt him. I mean, he's got some nicks on his face, but more importantly, he blocked a lot of punches, wasn't hurt in this fight. ¿En algún momento pudiste encontrar algún ajuste para, para contrarrestar lo que hacía Shakur? Sin duda, tenía, Oscar podía conectarlo, solamente que se metía a veces, no soltaba las combinaciones, bloqueaba bien los golpes, se metió a su distancia, pero no, no, no contragolpeaba. Creo que ahí fue donde, donde se nos fue yendo la pelea, pero... The fight was hard because when he got in range, he wasn't able to land the right hand, and that was what really, he wasn't able to counter him, and that's what really made a big difference. The knockdown, did you think that it was a knockdown? The referee called the knockdown. I personally think it wasn't. It was um, more of a slip. There was a connection, but it was on the glove. I mean, you got to respect it. Uh, the referee, it was his choice. I don't think it was a knockdown at all. Styles makes fight. Los estilos hacen las peleas. Saúl Álvarez está aquí presente. ¿Qué esperas de él con su pelea frente a Bivol? What do you expect from Canelo's fight against Bivol? He's here present today. Una pelea, una pelea complicada también. Eh, y en esos niveles las peleas son complicadas. Eh, se gana, se pierde. Mira, nos tocó perder, pero hay que seguir trabajando. Hey, I expect a great fight against Bivol. It's one of those things. Sometimes you win, sometimes you lose tonight. We had to lose, but nonetheless, we're going to get ourselves and pick ourselves up. 110 punches landed. That's the most punches landed against Shakur Stevenson. I know there's no moral victories, but you came out here and gave the fans a show. What was it like to have their support? Uh, I feel great to see my people here. I just want to say I'm sorry we didn't get the victory. Um, I wanted to take the belt back home to Mexico. We didn't get the job done, but I, I promised everybody that we tried. We tried hard. Thank you very much, Oscar. Always a valiant warrior. Joe, guys, we send it to you.